हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ प्रोग्राम व्हिच इज रिटन इन सी प्लस प्लस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम यू कैन सी दीज इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर योर रेफरेंस पर्पजेस हेयर माय वेबसाइट ऐप लिंक टू डाउनलोड पीपीटी बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल आर मैंशन सो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम विच इज रिटर्न इन सी प्लस प्लस ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इज रिटर्न इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट which is saying read information of a student and print it using classes so in the second statement i have included a header file io stream uh, in c++ dot h is not available because uh, we are using a namespace which is std so namespace is a collection of various classes which are predefined so std is a predefined namespace we have to uh, use this namespace in every program of c++ so if you are using uh, latest compilers of uh, c++ then these two statements are necessary and if you are using old compilers then uh, you can use iostream.h as header file so modern compiler supports namespace uh, the older compilers doesn't support it so beginning with the class class is a keyword and name of our class is student so this student is uh, also uh, an object which is real world entity so the class which we are implementing is based on a real world entity whose name is student then a access specifier private is used it is a default access specifier so if we do not write private here then roll number and name automatically becomes private so you can use private or you cannot uh, use it here so uh, without using private it is uh, always will be private so there are two variables roll number and name these are uh, data data members of student then another access specifier uh, is used which is public so we have to write pub uh, public because we do not uh, if we do not write public then all the data uh, which we write after public will become private so after public i have mentioned two functions first one is read and second one is print so first understand about uh, this read function so in this function uh, i have mentioned four statements first is see out so see out is an object of o stream class and see in is also an object of uh, i stream class so these classes are predefined and see out and see in are predefined objects uh, with see out i have used uh, two times less than this is known as insertion operator so see out statement is used to print something on console uh, console is output screen uh, so enter roll number message will be displayed on console with the help of see out then see in will read a roll number which is entered by the user inside rno variable then again the see in see out is pretty clear the see out will print enter name and the see in will read uh, that name inside this variable then second function which is print it has three see out messages or statements uh, so this first see out will print student details are message on console here i have used andl the full form of andl is and line so it is the replacement of backslash n so in c++ we can use andl if we want to separate the lines uh, on console second see out statement will print roll number message on console so in double quotes if we write anything uh, it will be displayed as it is and rno is considered as a variable so this variable will print its value then again andl it will uh, terminate or separate the lines on console the last see out statement it will print name message as it is then the value which is stored inside name will be printed and again andl will terminate the statement on console so this is the second function so this is the end of class so class is terminated with the help of semicolon why we used has uh, why we used uh, this semicolon because we can also create variables here then main function is written so c++ is also called bottom up approach uh, because we define main function at the end of the program so execution always starts from the bottom and uh, reaches to the top that's why it is bottom uh, bottom to up uh, approach so first statement inside main function is variable declaration so you can see the comment student is data type and s is object of student class so here two statements are also written s dot read 
and s dot print so this is message passing in c++ every time whenever you have to call a function you need to use uh, an object which is uh, declared with the help of a class so s is the uh, object of student class so we can call uh, read and print function of student class only with the s object so uh, friends this is the complete explanation of this very first program of c++ now i am compiling this code so you can see that there are no errors and warnings now i am executing this code so first it is asking for roll number so i am entering 11 and name sanjay so you can see that roll number equals to 11 and name equals to sanjay and all the statements are printing in different lines because of handle so you can say that the program is working properly so this is the very first program of c++ so you must implement this code in your laptop or desktop and run this program so that you can understand the working of classes in c++ thank you for watching this video